Hello guys and uh, welcome into a new uh, BIOS update uh, tutorial with the uh, Asus ROG Strix Z490E gaming motherboard. Thanks to uh, one of my uh, viewers I was announced that there is a new uh, BIOS version the uh, 0901 and uh, it was released four days ago on the uh, 18th of November 2020. So in order to um, update to this version, type in Google Asus ROG Strix Z490-E Gaming BIOS and it will uh, take you to, uh, to this page. It's very important we see uh, this uh, info before running the uh, USB BIOS flashback tool. Please rename the BIOS file that will be downloaded like this SZ490E CAP using the BIOS renamer. Here we are inside the uh, USB. Uh, flash drive and you can see uh, this will be the two uh, files that you'll uh, have and now let's use the uh, BIOS renamer to uh, shorten this long uh, BIOS file so here it is the uh, BIOS file has been renamed and it was really easy to do with a simple double click on the BIOS Renamer X file. That's all you need to do. So we have entered the BIOS. And now in the uh, tool section, up, right here, we have Asus Easy Flash 3 Utility. So tool, it's the first one. Let's click on that. Here we'll have all the uh, storage and uh, my uh, USB stick only shows 245 megabytes. I know this is the, uh, the right uh, driver and as I click it I think it's uh, starting to um, fail but here we have the SZ490E cap file. Double click, so click or click on that. Do you want to read this file? Press yes. Hopefully, everything will work. And now uh, the uh, whole BIOS uh, update process will begin. We see processing clear database. Please, when you see this message and this loading line, uh, be patient, take your time and don't do anything else. Just wait for the process to um, to begin and to uh, be fully uh, finished. It will take a while depending on your system. Of course when you have this motherboard uh, it will be as uh, fast as possible but still you will need to have patience. <clears throat> so there we see the loading line 
of the clear database even with a system like my i9 it takes a while so don't worry if you think uh, nothing happens as always until the uh, update process will be finished I will uh, continue to bring you my uh, experience with the, the PC all I can tell you is that um, this Intel uh, system in the way I've uh, assembled it and I uh, have uh, chose the, uh, the components it runs perfect this is the, uh, the word that can um, define the way uh, my PC works uh, ever since I've uh, switched from the uh, AMD uh, PC I had before so no issues whatsoever everything works the only downside let's say it's true not everything is uh, you know uh, right on the spot um, I don't get the notifications as fast as possible regarding a new BIOS version for instance so you see due to my uh, viewer uh, I was able to know there is a new BIOS version but other than that uh, simply it's it's a pleasure to to use it to video edit and to game but unfortunately guys you have seen that I've been really absent lately um, I'll have to see if I will come back to to WoW Shadowlands <laughs> it launches tomorrow so I'll have time to to think about that but I've been really caught up with uh, with work and with all this uh, worldwide situation and uh, the the gaming side uh, has been uh, <clears throat> let's say um, put on the bench so now we see the uh, update area 5 processing we are almost there and we get the uh, message update successfully now the system will restart it's perfectly fine a second restart and now it will uh, uh, take the signal to the monitor and this is basically it we will uh, log into uh, Windows so only now the uh, BIOS is uh, updating So now let's press F1. The uh, all the uh, let's say um, parameters are back to uh, default. The BIOS version is the uh, correct one. 0901 uh, and what we'll need to do now is to set the uh, AXMP uh, profile for the RAM 
uh, we see uh, at this moment it's back to the default frequency of 2133 so from the advanced mode go to the uh, easy mode and it looks like this and here we have the uh, AXMP uh, it's disabled simply click enabled and that will take your RAM to the uh, maximum frequency possible ok and the uh, F10 to uh, save an exit and so here we are also let's uh, see the uh, information so here we have the uh, system information the uh, BIOS version 0901 the CPU frequency and the RAM at 3200 MHz thank you so much guys for all your support um, I wish you all the best and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.